Hey guys, welcome back to Car Mechanic Simulator 2018. That's right, we're here in the workshop and we're back for a pretty interesting build today. So I was in the auction house perusing for my latest new vehicle to acquire, but I really wanted something a little different. Oh, I accidentally showed it, didn't mean to. What is it? Do you know what it is? Did you recognize it? Um, it is unassuming until you start seeing the bees and then you realize, oh goodness, oh goodness, this is a Bentley. Yes, this is a, this is a Bentley Continental GT, and it is it was very expensive. I bought off the auction house for um, not quite one hundred fifty-seven thousand, but like one hundred forty thousand or something like that. Uh, yeah, the good news is the body is in perfect condition, the frame is in perfect condition, the interior is in perfect condition. So I don't have to do anything with any of that. It's just going to be the engine and the suspension. And, uh, you know, wheels and tires. and So, yeah, uh, generally it's an in, it's an incredible shape. The, the owner did a great job of working on the body and the interior and uh, not really maintaining the engine as much. Not that it's bad. It's about 60%, I would say, all around on the engine for the most part. I did do uh, – I took it on the test path. I took it on the test track. I did all the inspections I could with tools. So I've actually got a decent idea of how everything's doing. Um for the most part. So it's in pretty good shape. This is a pretty interesting car though, and the reason I wanted to do it is because the engine in this is a W12 twin turbo. W12 twin turbo, which is, it's bonkers. Check it out. We got a turbo over here, and we've got a, a turbo over here. There's two of them. It's a twin turbo, obviously. Yeah, we got two big intake manifold. Well, really, I guess one big intake manifold here with a couple air filters. Uh, yeah, it's going to be an interesting one to work on. Some huge exhaust pipes coming off of there. And then a W12. A W12. Meaning, we've got six cylinders on each side. You can see our ignition coils. One, two, three, four, five, six on each side. So this is going to be a pretty fun engine to tear apart. So that's why we bought it. It was expensive. I think we're going to make a lot of money on it, though. And we are going to um, make it even faster and more powerful than it already is. But to give you an idea of where we're starting from, 633 horsepower. That's at 5,510 RPM, 857 Newton meters at 4,070 RPM. So very high torque, um, certainly high power, but uh, it's going to become even even more high power when we upgrade the turbos and the engines, and I'm sure there's going to be lots of performance components that we can put into this. It's going to be a pretty fun one. I think I'm just going to Stick with the same look, though. I think I'll keep the same wheels. It is all-wheel drive, so we might even have a little bit of fun and try to take it to the off-road track because I forgot the off-road track is a thing, but if you don't have an all-wheel drive vehicle, it's going to be a mess. This car's probably still going to do pretty bad, but we're going to try it anyway. Maybe I'll put off-road tires on it if that's a thing. I don't know. We'll see. Um, but, yeah, for now, we're going to take it over to my favorite lifter, Lifter A, because it's the closest to the bench, and uh, we're going to do what we do. We're going to take apart the suspension, and get that all fixed, and then we'll move to taking the engine over to the bench, and we'll get to work on that super interesting W12 twin turbo. The car's from Denmark! Well, how that, that's just so nice. That's so nice. Uh, that's great. The license plates are in excellent condition, just not the, not the actual, you know, guts of the car. But I think, for the most part, this suspension is going to be fairly simple. Um... Really, honestly, there aren't that many variations of suspensions in this game anyway, so... Although I've never seen the rear... I've never seen air suspension. That's cool. I didn't even think they had it in the game. So that's kind of fun. Cool. I don't know if you can actually adjust that at all in the game, like... Because sometimes, like, re like, air suspension in real life, like, you can adjust it. It allows you to adjust the height um, in real time, so... Who knows how that works, if it really does work at all, if it does anything special. But um, other than that, this is a pretty standard, like, sports-style rear end. And uh, the front end looks uh, pretty standard as well. Yeah, not really anything special here. Like I said, the suspension in Karma King Simulator, there really just aren't that many variations. There's not a lot of interesting stuff here. So... Ooh, what? Bentley gets their own special brake calipers on the front, though. That's, that's, that's new. Like, I know that seems great. That's actually unique, though. And do we have air? Wow, we do have front air suspension also. Well, that's simple. I don't have to, I don't have to, uh, I don't have to build out the, the suspension there with the, you know, with the, 
the shock and the spring and the the stuff. I don't know why I can't remember what things are called. But okay, so yeah, this is pretty simple. Um, I think just because. Well, the di I guess the differential is kind of interesting. Let's just pull that apart really quick. Okay, we'll part of our pull of our starter, so we can start pulling the transmission off. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna do. I'll show this because the rest of the suspension isn't gonna be that interesting. If you ever seen me play Car Mechanic Simulator, you've kind of seen how this goes. So I'll probably just kind of do that quick on my own for your sake. And. Uh, but yeah, we can look at this. We've got a front drive shaft coming off of our transfer case there, as well as the main drive shaft to the rear wheels. We can pull off our transfer case. This is different, though. I've never seen the W12 variation, so there you go. And then the W12 gearbox. Okay, I mean, it's not it's not that different, but it is all-wheel drive, which is going to be great, because we're going to try to take this thing off-road, and it's going to be a mess. Wow, look at those turbochargers. You can even see the, they have like a external wastegate, sort of? What? That's crazy. It's got a little electrical connection there. Interesting. That's kind of fun. Okay. All right. Given all that, I'm going to pull the suspension apart. I'm going to get it all fixed up, and we'll put it back on, and then we can kind of take it from there. We can look at the exhaust and whatnot after we do that. Um, I'll probably get the fuel tank good to go and get the uh, performance fuel pump put on the fuel tank. Nothing too interesting. It's all very similar in most cars. So I'm going to do that quick. And Well, it's not going to be super quick for me, but it'll be quick for you because I'm going to do it quick and then I'll be right back and everything's going to look fancy. Get ready and here we go. Bye. Okay, bye. Alright, so we've pretty much got the suspension done here. Check out those tires. I'm getting ready to go off-road with this thing. This is actually... I should have just... This is, the, this is the direction I should have gone from the start because it actually... I mean, this is the, the apps absolutely wrong car to do this with but i love it uh we're gonna take this thing off road it's gonna be our all-wheel drive w12 twin turbo off-road machine i love it it's gonna be super cool uh one thing i didn't notice when i took off that cool uh bugatti yes bugatti is the nope it's a bentley what is wrong with me when i took off that cool bentley uh caliper i didn't realize look at this it's it is a dual uh, it's a it's a dual piston brake caliper and you can see them in there you see those little pistons so that's cool I didn't even know that was a thing in the game and it you know I mean like you know the racing brakes are all it's, you know they're always like multiple uh, caliper brakes and yeah they actually do have them at least in the Bentley vehicles which is cool I don't know let's we'll see if we find them in any other vehicles as we continue to play this game more uh, but hey. There it is. That's the suspension all done, I think, and hope. Oh, I have a couple bushings left over. That's fun. Yeah, there's the old tires, the sport tires. Now we're on the off-road tires, one with just a little bit um, larger diameter, so just a little bit fatter off the rim, so you can see our clearance. But we're good. We're good. We have enough clearance. I think we're I think we're good. All right, so let's just pull this exhaust off really quick and get that fixed. we got two rear muffler W12s, middle mufflers, callet converters... Who needs them? Just kidding. They're good. Uh, and then we've got two front exhaust section W12s all the way up to Zitter Bochotter Jetter. Look at that. You can actually see the turbine. That's so cool. Oh, I'm excited to pull this thing apart. Okay, let's just... We're going to get some performance exhaust on here. Whatever we can get, we will. And then we'll get the exhaust changed out. And then we're going to take the engine out and we're going to do the fun part. Tuning shop exhaust let's see what w that's not a w that's not a w okay what do we got rear muffler w12 okay we can get a couple of those that's it but now for a few for a little peek into what's coming oh front exhaust section my bad but yeah we can do camshafts we can do engines heads exhaust manifolds we will do flywheel air filter fuel rail that's a crazy fuel rail one fuel rail for all those cylinders wow uh intake manifold both parts of the intake manifold, uh, all the pistons that are special pistons for this engine, which I, which I forgot about. I've seen them before. We got throttle and turbochargers. There's going to be so much performance stuff in here. Thank goodness I have sixty-seven thousand dollars because it could get a bit pricey. Uh, yeah, okay, but it's going to be fun. Uh, okay, we need to get actually. Can I? I don't think. Can I fix? No. Nope. Okay, I can't fix exhaust. So I'm going to need to buy two middle mufflers, two catalytic converters. Also, um, actually. Ooh, okay, performance catalytic converters. And then I know middle muffler. Where are you? Oh, this is alphabetical order. Uh, here. Okay, so actually, I think we've got the entire exhaust section. We'll get to be performance. So we got the rear muffler. He's better shiny. Okay. And middle muffler. Yep. Love it. 
Calic Converter. Keep the shininess going. And I'm going to wait on the front exhaust section because we might just need them to be detached to pull the engine out anyway, so we'll wait on that. Um, but hey, this thing is going to be pretty pretty crazy. So, All right, there she is. There she is. All right, let's pull this out. And then I might just do the radiator and stuff really quick while I'm here and thinking about it. We'll see if there's anything interesting with that. Uh, we will go ahead and pull out. Unmount front differential. Oh, of course I... Mm, yep. I put that back together. Does that just say speed? Is that really... Is that real? Does the real Bentley Continental GT just say speed? I mean... Yikes. Alright, well, these tires are coming off. Hey, but at least you gotta see what it looked like with all the tires on, I, I guess. I just forgot I gotta... Do not want to have drive axles and differentials in here, so let's jump over here. That's really say it's a sport tire, but that is an off-road tire. That's quite strange. It had sport tires, but it doesn't anymore. If only I could lift the suspension, make it a real off-roader. Uh, okay, now I think you'll be happy with me. Actually, are you? Yeah. Yes. You know, I don't know why that mattered, because the engine wasn't even connected. I don't have the transmission or the transfer case or anything on, so I'm almost surprised that that mattered. Oh well, okay, it's out. I am curious to see how big this is on the engine stand. Oh my gosh, it is huge! That has to be the biggest engine I've ever put on the stand. I mean, a lot of this is intake, intake manifolds. Okay, cool. Let's just take a peek in here. We've got a brake servo, ABS pump, ABS module. That can all get repaired. Yep, and we've got a battery. That's a thing you need. Um, and okay, radiator fan housing, with one fan and radiator A. Oh, large intercooler. What? I have never seen an intercooler in this game, and I have to go underneath to access it. That's cool. I mean, yeah, with with two turbos, you should probably have an intercooler. In fact, that's a kind of a small intercooler, all things considered, but... Okay, I'm gonna throw battery on here real quick. Yep, you can do that. We'll see what else we can fix from this other stuff we just pulled off. And then we can get going on the engine, brake servo, intercooler, housing. Okay, everything's good. Actually, I'm curious. Is there a performance intercooler? B6B. V12B. Whoa. Those are sick. But they're not for this car. But they're cool. Okay. All right, so we can put that back in really quickly. Large intercooler. Got it. Front diff. No, I... No. Uh, that, okay. Yeah, cool. Bring that down. While it's going down, I'm gonna grab my battery, and then we're gonna move the engine. I swear, I swear we will. I gotta say, I really like the the color of this car, and I'm pretty excited. That I don't have to mess with any interior or anything else. That'll be kind of that'll be nice little time saver, money saver. Since I spent you know almost one hundred fifty thousand dollars on this vehicle. Brake servo. Oh, fuel filter. That can happen on the bench. Their performance fuel filter. And there are not performance versions of any of these things, so we are good to go. And now we can go work on the engine on the bench. All right, let's do it. Here it is. Wow, look at it. It's so big and complicated. Where should we start? With the intake manifold cover. See ya? Okay. Air filter cover. Twin turbo. Wow. That is... Quite large. Okay, and that just comes right. Interesting. It's just like an interesting little intake. So air filter goes into the turbo. Pressurized air would come out and come into these throttle bodies, but there's no connect and what? It's just kind of weird. Yeah, I mean it's funny like how like the intercooler is just mounted in the car, but like it's not plumbed up at all because you know you'd you'd send your charge air. You'd send the charge air to the intercooler to be cooled, and then it would come up into the throttle bodies, 
and then through the intake manifolds down into the cylinders, but there's just like a plumbing that's missing. So this is presumably coming from the intercooler, uh, but we just don't really see that. So it's kind of weird because you've got your ambient air coming in, being filtered, coming down, being pressurized by the turbo charger, and then it would be... Uh, I can't even get down low enough to show you, but there's this other connector here, right? This is the one that would be sending off to the intercooler, pressurized air to the intercooler to be cooled, then to be sent to the throttle body. So, uh, it's 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 there. It's not completely complete, but it's there, sorta. So, it's kind of interesting. It's too bad they couldn't just like plumb up the intercooler. It would make a little more sense here. But I get it. Like, it can be a little simplified, but still, still shows you the general workings. Both of our throttle bodies and then our intake manifold, all one big piece is ready to come off. Just four bolts holding that in. Okay, there's that super interesting fuel rail we see. All six cylinders on each side in one fuel rail. Yikes, that's a lot of fuel going through that line. That is bonkers. Okay, here's the bottom part of that intake manifold. Both of those we can swap up for performance parts, which would be neat. That was held in with like... 10 bolts or something. Uh, okay. Thermostat? Oh, interesting. W12 thermostat. You don't see thermostats on a lot of the cars in this game except for parts. A few, but not very much. So all of our timing is going to be around front. Okay. We can... I guess we can... No, no, no. Let's pull off our turbocharger on this side. Hold him with two bolts to the exhaust manifold. Pull that off. This is such an interesting engine. This is going to be an absolute monster. I already drove it just briefly on the test, um, on the test track, just to see the condition of some things. And because it's all-wheel drive, it does help it be much more uh, manageable. It's actually really manageable compared to some other cars. It'll be interesting to see how it handles the extra power we're going to give it. And then once we put it on dirt, I mean, I don't expect anything to go well be kind of fun. So, all right, all six ignition coils, all six spark plugs on this side of the engine. Good grief. This is going to be absurd. There goes our head valve cover, and we've got a good look at both of our camshafts because we've got a dual overhead cam. Wow. So you see the W here, right? Like, we've got the W-shaped engine. It's just absurd. An inline six on each side. Still overhead cam. Bonkers. And so many camshaft caps. So many to take off. And we can do performance cams on both sides. So there's going to be a lot of performance parts coming into this engine. We can do performance heads. All the cylinders are going to change out. All 12 cylinders are going to get changed out. Uh, yeah, it's going to be... I'm glad I have 65000 because I think I'm going to spend some, some money on this thing. I'm going to have to sell a car if we run out of funds, I guess. Oh, one left. One left hiding in there. Oh, my gosh. This is only one side. Oh, okay. Oh, so the timing's on the back side. Okay, cool. Uh, all right. Well, let's pull off the let's pull up at the front of the engine then really quick. We'll just start with this belt tensioner. Pull off our serpentine belt. Wow. That was a interesting uh, route that thing has to take. But yeah, it only has to turn uh, power steering pump, alternator, you know, crank pulleys driving it. So there's not too much for that serpentine belt to do. I mean, well, this is a water pump, of course. Um, and then timing's on the other side of the engine. I'd be kind of interested to see how the timing works. Okay, that's this side. Wow, that oil pan is bonkers. What is the shape of it? Okay, let's pull that off quick since we're having fun. We'll get a glimpse at all of our... Uh, well, actually, no, I can't swing the camera down there, so... Alright, we'll swing over to the other side of the engine, pull off our turbo, pull off the exhaust manifold. We can lose the oil filter really quick. Let's go the top of the block. Exhaust manifold... All right. Oh boy. Yeah, it's a uh, this engine's a lot of work. 
as, as you'd sort of expect. W12. Okay, I'm gonna remove all these camshaft caps, which could take a little while. It will take a while. I've got my tools fully upgraded to remove things quickly, but it is still just a bit tedious when you have to click in on every single one of these. But hey, compared to doing this in, a, in real life, it's a breeze, so. You don't get your hands dirty. Electrical systems don't exist. Fluids barely exist, except for oil. Uh, yes. It's much simpler. Wow. It's crazy to think how long it's going to take me, though, just to disassemble and reassemble this engine. Which is kind of absurd. Some of them, like, I can just pull apart so fast, but this one, holy moly. Okay, so we've got all of our caps off. We can not do what I want to do. Okay, well, we're going to pull the clutch release bearing, pull a clutch plate. Yep. And there is a special flywheel on this engine. Flywheel, W12. Cool. Oh, wow. So you do that, and then you can pull this timing cover off. It's held with four bolts. Okay. Wow. That is a, such a strange timing setup. So crankshaft. And then we've got this timing chain sprocket. The timing... Wow, there's like no tension on these chains. It's so weird. Okay, we'll just pull the timing chains off each side. And pull it off. The connection, and then it's just a sprocket that just sits up here. What? That is so weird. Okay, well, now we can pull off our cam gear. Cam gear W12. Another specific part. Both of our camshafts. Let's do it on both sides. Okay, there we go. Okay, and. Alright, pull for engine heads. Oh, which have no bolts holding them on? Ah, uh, okay. That's weird. That's weird. All right. And now you can see. Wow. Yeah, you can see. I mean, this isn't a V12. Like, you can see what it means to have a W12 here because the cylinders are not in line. Like, wow. That's so cool. So, okay. Well, we need to start uh, pulling our cylinders. So we're going to have to spin this engine around and get a look at the bottom and undo all 12 of our rod caps and then also the crankshaft bearing caps holding the crankshaft in wow this is a pretty i mean this is definitely an interesting engine there's no no doubting that it's going to take a while to reassemble yeah we got two pistons on each section of the crankshaft so you know they're moving at the same speed, you know, they're at the the same spot uh, as far as top dead center, you know, they would line up at the same time and everything, so it's pretty cool. Alright. Was that maybe? Crankshaft bearing, or cam, yeah, crankshaft bearing caps, one, two, three, four, five of them? I got all the rod caps. At least they're close to each other, so it's a little faster to move between. Get them all out. Okay, are we... Okay. Now we just need to remove our pistons. With Conrad. W12. Let's see. The rings are also specific. Piston rings W12. Jeez. Crazy. We'll just see if there's performance parts for all of that. And uh... Gosh, there could be a lot. There's a lot of parts that can be upgraded, so we we might pull some pretty scary power figures when this is all done. Okay, and that's disassembly. Good grief. Alright, I'm going to get all of the parts repaired, and I'll buy all the performance parts that I can, and then uh, 
we'll go ahead and work on the rebuild. So, all right, we'll go from there. All right, so I've got all the parts ready. This is going to be a big build. Uh, all right, crankshaft. There's no performance version. That's okay. I'm actually... That's going to be fine. There's going to be so much performance stuff on here, it doesn't even matter. We do have a performance power steering pump V8. I don't know what I'm putting on now, but I, I mean, it's there. And we, like I said, 12 performance pistons. The rings are not performance, which is fine, but they are brand new. It was pretty slow to get all these parts because... If it's like piston related, it's times twelve. It, it was it was crazy, and the camshaft bearing caps actually I had twenty eight of them, and you can only buy twenty at a time. I don't think I've ever had to buy. I don't think I've ever even like realized that there was a limit, because I've never had to buy more than twenty anything at one time. But this time, twenty eight. Crazy. All right, it's all of our pistons. I was actually going to do the crankshaft bearing cap, but I got the wrong thing. Okay. I feel like you would lock in the crankshaft before you started doing other things, but that's what I'm going to do, I guess. Oh, boy. Okay. It's going to be a slow build, but I think in the end, it'll be worth the work. Thing is going to be pretty rowdy, which is not really the purpose of a Continental GT. It's just absurd, over the top luxury. And I'm going to make it more absurd, more absurdly powerful. And uh, we're going to we're going to try to off road with it because I don't know. It sounds hilarious, I guess. We'll see. The driving fists in this game are pretty dicey, so I don't I don't have high expectations. Okay, get rod caps. Rod capping, four days. It's like the gift that just keeps on giving. Rod caps. Okay, and now we can throw our oil pan on. Our very bizarre shaped oil pan. Looks like it actually has an electrical connection on the bottom. Potentially for like uh, oil temperature or something like that usually. We can flip our motor over. Wrong way. That's okay. I always go the wrong way. There it is. All right, it's such a strange oil pan. I love it. Crankshaft pulley, V8. Get some idlers up here. Get our water pump, W12, which we were able to repair. And the water pump pulley, W12, which I was not able to repair. Had to buy a new one. Idler roller, another idler roller. And then we should get our serpentine belt on. Nope, I lied. Oh, we need alternator. Performance alternator. Classic. Gotta get that 1.2%. But that's the thing, is like 1.2% is a lot when you're talking about what was factory, like an 800 horsepower engine. Or 700 horsepower? Uh, yeah, these percentages start really adding up. 2% for each engine head. I mean, I think the turbos are 4%. Like, it's gonna be pretty... This thing's gonna be pretty filthy, honestly. Is, I bet we I, I, we're gonna easily get over a thousand horsepower. Performance bottom section of the intake manifold. That was fun. Whee! I'm like not even trying to go down the line. It's just kind of doing it. Uh, performance fuel rail with those fun little red accents. We've got performance camshafts, half a percent each. Good grief. Yep. Performance spark plugs. 12 of them. So 0.13% percent, percent, percent each. But it's times 12. So it's not insignificant. And we'll also get performance from the ignition coils. So it's just it just gets a little absurd, to be honest. Uh, cam gears are not upgradable. Fuel filter is... It's kind of in my way. Timing chain sprocket. We had to buy a new one. Okay, got our bottom part of our timing chain down to the crankshaft, and then we've got timing chain A's out to uh, both set of cam gears. Oh, that's not performance. Unmount. Okay. 
Okay, and our last performance camshaft. To be very, very careful not to accidentally put a one of the old components back on that we were able to repair. All right, we can put our timing cover back on, and that pretty much seals up the back side of the engine. We can put our flywheel on, which is performance 2.5% on that gigantic flywheel. A lot of a lot of torque being thrown at that flywheel and clutch assembly. It's kind of it's kind of absurd. Throw our release bearing on. We are done with that side of the engine now. I am avoiding all of these camshaft bearing caps. We've got exhaust manifolds on both sides, 1.5% each, and they're shiny. As all of the exhaust performance exhaust components are. Oh, our derb ski. All right, we'll do our spark plugs through here. And then I'm going to be doing camshaft bearing caps for a long time because there's seven over each camshaft times two camshafts per head times two heads per engine. So 28 camshaft bearing caps. Camshaft caps. Camshaft. Yeah, I guess there's not really a bearing in there, is there? Uh, a fluid bearing. Just oil, basically. I don't know what to say while I'm screwing in 28 camshaft caps. And halfway done with all of them. Okay, engine head cover, no performance version. Would have been cool only because you get like a different look, but I guess this engine actually gets pretty covered up anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Okay, performance ignition coils in red all along the way. But yeah, there is another cover I think that goes over this, so I guess it really doesn't matter what this looks like. This engine ends up being like pretty buttoned down in the end, so. Okay, what's that? You want to see more camshaft caps? That's not right. Uh, coming up soon, right after we get this performance exhaust manifold on. Here we go. Okay, camshaft bearing caps are done. And we got our other engine head cover going on. We're getting there. We're getting there. Got our six ignition coils on this side. Facing an alternating direction, which is kind of fun. Would love to know how the wiring works for that, but... We don't get to see that. All right, performance intake manifold, and it is a shiny. That's pretty cool looking. Shiny with red accents. Manifold cover. Okay, not bad. And we got our throttles. Both performance versions specific to the W12. Pretty cool. 1.5% each. Not bad. All right, turbos. Shiny. 4% each. Crazy. It'd be cool if this thing was super turbo noisy. I just don't know if it will be. And we've got performance air filters, 1% each. Actually, not bad for an air filter. Twin turbo, and then some. This engine does come together looking super clean. Get our other performance turbo over here. This thing is going to be nasty. And it is almost done and ready to go back in the car. It'll need some oil. We'll throw the transmission on. We'll... Uh, get our transfer case and everything hooked up, but I think... Is that it? Are we done? Are we done? Are we done? I think we're done. All right, let's do it. For real. Off the hoist. Uh, no. Into the car. And now you can go away. Wow, look at that. It looks so nice. It looks sweet with the uh, ignition coils and everything on there. Looks noise, noise, noise. Okay, let's get our drivetrain put back together. Get our exhaust finished up. Put our front diff in here. Now we can put our drive axles on each side. Put our wheel on. Dude, I'm excited to drive this. It's going to be pretty fun. I really like want it to sound super turboy, but I don't think it will. 
It definitely didn't sound too crazy when I drove it the first time, so. Okay, I got our front exhaust section. We're able to put those on now. 2% each. Holy cow, this thing is going to be... I think this thing is going to be scary. When I think about the percentages that have added up at this point, I mean, this thing is going to be scary. Transfer case. All right. I didn't put the performance transmission on. I just realized that, but I don't think it really matters. That's more for like, if you want to be able to tune it and change the ratios to hit like high top speed. I'm not really going to go for top speed right now. I guess we could always come back in a different video and try that, but right now I'm not that interested in top speed so much. Okay, I think, are we complete? Like, is is this good? 100%, 100%, 100%, of course. Global parts condition, 98%. What are we missing? What are we missing? Uh, front drive shaft C. Front drive shaft C. And two rubber bushings. Front drive shaft C. Uh, oh, got it. That's right. There's like that little thing that went down to it. Yes. Got it. Done. Okay, we're missing two bushings. Where did I forget them? Did I forget them in the rear? Or did I forget them? There's one. Say so a lot of times it's easy to forget them in the cross member. And I forgot it back here. Okay. How about now? Are you happy? Yes, 100%. 100% happy. All right, we're going to lower it. We're going to put oil in it, and then we're going to go, and we're going to drive it, and it's going to be awesome. Okay, oil with a special Bentley oil fill plug. Here we go. This is fun. How much oil does this take? Usually I can tell if it's overflowing. Am I, are we do, do we have enough oil? Is this full? I feel like I put a lot of oil in this engine. Um, is it ever gonna, can I just not see it? Okay, that's gotta be enough, I hope. All right, uh, let's, oh, oh, let's go drive it. I am, I'm very excited to drive it. Uh, should we drive it on the racetrack and then the off-road track? Sure, let's just try it on the racetrack because I want to see what it's like. Oh yeah. Okay, I'm going to grab my controller and we're going to do this right. Look at those, look at those tires. Okay, uh, let's do it, Denmark. Ooh. Yeah, it sounds much meaner than before. Oh, I never dynoed it. I don't even know how much power I have. I forgot to dyno it. Oh, it's so fast. It's actually, oh man, what? Okay. Holy cow. Look at this thing. The camera is like backwards from what I want it to be. Okay. Look at that. Just easy burnout. Okay. I don't know how much the tires actually affect things in this game. I feel like they're all kind of bad. Grip has never been good, so. Okay, it's quite fast. Which is to be expected. I think this would be pretty mean 0 to 60. Like, if we just come... I'm sorry, I'm doing such a bad job with the camera. It's very touchy. Um, if we come around this corner down here, and then we'll get on the straightaway. I want to just see, like... Oh, wow. Yikes. I want to see how... Just how fast we could go in a straight line. Once we get around here, maybe... Come on. Dude, the camera is so sensitive. Okay, here we go. Right here from a dead stop. Oh, I can't do a dead stop. Please stop. Please stop. Please stop. Please stop. Okay, and go. Yeah, that's pretty fast. That's pretty fast. Oh my gosh, dude, 200 kilometers an hour. 250, 60. Dude, that's so fast. It's braking is terrible. But okay, so I'm going to take it back to the shop. I'm going to dyno it quick. I don't know why I forgot that. And then we'll take it off road. I was just so excited to drive it that I forgot to dyno it. Like, what's wrong with me? Okay, so as a reminder, to start, 633 horsepower, 857 newton meters of torque. I think we're going to be significantly up from that. I don't know why I always go in, because it's right here in this screen, but yeah. 633 horse, 857 newton meters. Let's do it. Let's do it. Get over a thousand horsepower. 
Oh yeah, 1,122 horsepower and almost 1,500 newton meters of torque. Yeah, holy cow. That's scary, dude. Straight scary. All right, let's go take it off-road. It's going to be a total mess. All right, here we are at the off-road track. I have never been here until today because I kind of forgot that I have access to it now because I have the DLCs. Um, it's pretty cool. I took my Porsche like 911 America or whatever that I restored in a previous video, which is rear-wheel drive, and obviously like not made for this at all. And it was terrible. It being rear-wheel drive was really bad. It had no, no traction. It was a bad time. This is already doing better, even though it's not good. Uh, we've got quite a hill climb there, which I think I will come after, but I want to go through here first. This is already doing a lot better. I do feel like I'm having some major ground clearance issues, though. Even with the... What, I mean, what am I actually hung up on? Am I just high-centered? Oh, boy. Yes, I am. My exhaust is... Wow. That's it. That's it, folks. We're hung up right there. Okay, let's not go that way. We'll do the hill climb, I guess. All right. Yeah, if this thing had a little more suspension travel, it'd be cool. The air suspension, I guess, isn't doing it for me. So yeah, the, the Porsche that I did had no chance of getting up this. Zero. It was just spinning out constantly. But look at that. I don't know if the tires help me or if it's just all the all-wheel drive, but it's completely different. Oh, boy. Yeet. It's actually, like, fairly... It's, it's, it's reasonably capable. Um, it doesn't have the ground clearance. It doesn't have the suspension travel. I think it'd be fun to actually, maybe in an upcoming video, do, uh, like, sort of like an off-road thing. Like, try, to try to off, like, get a vehicle to be good at off-road. Like, they do have the Jeep Grand Cherokee in this game. The SRT8 version, which is pretty neat. They've got, actually, some Ford, like, heavy-duty trucks. They've got Jeep, like, Jeep Wrangler. Um... And so it'd be kind of fun to try some of that out and like see if we could build something that, that was pretty capable at off-road and also, of course, <laughs> powerful. So I might do that soon also because this is fun, but it's also it's pretty it's pretty bad. It's still pretty bad. And I mean, I'm clunking around a vehicle that's worth like I don't even know how much money. I don't know, two hundred thousand? How much was this thing worth? Actually, I should I have to go back and uh, go back and look, but. Yeah, there we go. It's actually fairly capable. I think the all-wheel drive helps a lot. I don't really know how much the off-road tires help, but uh, it's fun anyway. Look at the interior, though. Isn't it pretty? It's actually like a pretty cool interior. Let's see. If I, am I better driving in here? No, not really. No, we're hung up. Okay, uh, I'm going to go back to the garage just because I want to see how much things worth, and then we'll uh, we'll wrap it up. All right, here's what she's worth. Uh, 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 $259,000. Well, at least I made some money. Like, I mean, I spent like, I don't know, 35 grand restoring it, but I like made probably at least like $115,000 in car values. I mean, that, that's pretty, so I mean, this, hey, it was worth it, right? It was worth our time, sweat, tears, blood, whatever. Uh, but yeah, there you go. A pretty crazy car, a pretty crazy engine, the Bentley Continental GT with a W12 twin turbo that now has a like more than 1100 horsepower so completely insane um yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed that and if you did enjoy it go and subscribe for more videos of car mechanic simulator and some other games we've been playing and uh hey either way thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you in the next video see ya